How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. It's around lunchtime right now and I want to show you guys how I make a meal in about 10 minutes or so. And this is using all ingredients from scratch, fresh ingredients, nothing in a package or anything. As we all know, time is money and you cannot just spend an hour every day making your lunch or dinner repeatedly day after day. You walk into the kitchen, like right now, I don't have anything pre-set up. And then you walk out about 10 minutes later with some hot food in your hand. So with that said, I'm going to begin. I'm just waiting for my takeout over here. And I wish that there is some high quality video game that I can play at any time. Well, guess what? Now you can with Raid Shadow Legends. With over 500 champions, you can collect their own skill trees and millions of artifacts you can find and equip. No two champions are going to be alike and you can have plenty of things to do while you're waiting. So because I know this character is really strong, I'm not gonna hit the first guy because he only has like about 100 HP left. I'm gonna hit the second guy. Okay, immediately 2000 knocked off right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this acid rain thing on these guys. You can see, oh, right there, it's really strong. It almost kills everybody. Ray just released the Artifacts Forge where you can save time and craft artifacts directly as well as a whole new advanced quest system with amazing rewards. And that's not all, they also will be bringing some amazing new champions and they're developing the amazing looking Doom Tower as we speak, which I'm super excited about. Go ahead and download this game, go to the links in the description box. And if you're a new player, you can get 100,000 silver, two clan boss keys, 10 mystery shards, and a free awesome champion the Executioner. Look at this cool champion you'll get for free. You will find extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. Right here, I got a bowl. I have some chicken over here. First, you kind of dip it in water a little bit to remove the plastic. I have saran wrap wrapping around this. And then I put this in the defrost. You only defrost the chicken. Defrosting about 56 seconds. I need to wash my hands because I just touched the chicken. Over here, I have steel cut oats that's ready already. I just gotta open it up. I've actually made more than I actually need. I'm gonna put it in a big bowl. And that would be my starch for today. So this over here, I'm gonna just get about one cup of it. And uh, that's the steel cut oats. Chicken that's in there. Defrost. I'm gonna flip it over with some chopsticks so I don't have to wash my hands again. And then defrost it again. Meanwhile, over here, I'm going to start a cast iron pan, turn it on hot because it'll need some time to heat up the cast iron pan. Over here, I got some green beans. I got a pot over here. I'm just gonna steam the green beans a little bit. We need some vegetables, right? So I'm gonna put some water here, turn it on. About that much would do. I dropped it on the floor. So now I gotta wash it. That is the chicken that is defrosted. Put a little bit of oil here. Now I wanna decide if I wanna add some, like, you know, add an egg to this or something because it's gonna be chicken and green beans so far. Do I wanna add little pizzazz to it, I guess. I think I'm gonna add cheese into it. I'll put some manchego cheese, which I have in the fridge right now. Okay, so this is the end clippings. I use some newspaper over here. This is kind of like from a Yellow Pages thing and I put all the compostable stuff in here so that I can stick it in the compost bin and not the trash bin. I'm gonna steam some of this, the screen bean here. Turn it on medium. And I have the chicken that's ready. And because this is a little thick, I'm going to cut it in half. I think this is chicken thigh that I've previously deboned myself. Okay, right there. Turn that on. I touched the 
chicken. So I'm going to wash my hands again. Let me check the time. It's like eight minutes since I started recording this video. This chicken is gonna take 11 minutes to cook. I'm gonna sear it for about one minute. And let me find the lid. Where's the lid? Lid is over here. Put the vegetable back. Here's the cheese I'm gonna sprinkle on this thing later. The grater. Turn this over. I'm gonna turn it on low. And while I'm doing that, I don't just kind of mess everything up. I also wash the dishes while I am cooking stuff. See that chicken is over there and it's cooking. I got 10 minutes to sit around. So, you know, you got 10 minutes to do whatever you want. So usually I just clean the kitchen, like use up whatever I got dirty, like this knife that I cut the chicken with and also the pan over here. Gonna have to do it later anyway. It's either that or you get out of the kitchen. You have to come in and out, in and out. So while you're here, you know, might as well just clean whatever. Usually I take the steel cut oats out of the Instapot right after it's done. I left it in there so it got stuck a little bit. I probably will have one mandarin orange later. Why not have a little bit of wine because there's eight minutes left and I got nothing else to do. Cheers. Yeah, that's probably all I need. Like a swig of red wine. I don't need more than that. Don't want to get drunk or anything. Maybe I want to season the chicken a little bit. I kind of forgot to do that. You can do that now. I got salt and pepper over here. Oh, shoot. Oh, it broke actually. Well, it's just going to be very peppery. My pepper grinder finally broke. I think this is six eight years old this is a really old thing so it's okay that it broke i just need to get another one should i make like an egg or something add it on top of there i guess i can do that oh by the way the chicken that i have in there uh this was organic chicken this is cage-free egg so i'm having you know really okay stuff i guess add some Cover that. Uh, there's the green beans. It looks like it's done. Turn it off. This is the rice. It looks like I can eat it like three more times or so. That's the reason for cooking a whole batch of it. So I can just put it in the fridge. And for dinner, I'm just gonna take this out, microwave it, you know, mix another set of stuff, whatever I feel like. Fish, eggs, pasta or whatever, and add it with some uh, starch over here. I also have, you know, some tofu. I'll probably eat this tonight. The egg's done. You can see, oops, I dropped this on the ground, so stick that over here. Here's the egg. I mean, it's still kind of a bit of gooey, so pretty good. Three or four minutes left until the chicken is done. Usually, the gating item is the chicken. You gotta wait for it until it's done. Meanwhile, I can have some more wine. I mean, I already cleaned up everything. Just have reasonable drinking. This is because I had the wine that's left over from a trip. Normally, I wouldn't buy that much wine or anything, but you know, I'm just kind of finishing it up. I feel like I'm making my dinner or lunch very, very quickly. If you're making pizza, you gotta put it in the oven for like a good 20 minutes or something and then you get to eat but I come into the kitchen you know do a whole bunch of stuff really busily of course and I come out with a hot meal you know and it's all from scratch steel cut oats there's no added artificial ingredients in it the organic chicken I only add salt and pepper there's a cage-free egg in here and then the vegetables there's no artificial stuff no preservatives this is not like when you get like a TV dinner, which takes about the same time. You take it out of the freezer, you stick it in a microwave for like five minutes. Well, it's a little bit faster, right? But this tastes a lot better. I think this really saves a lot of money because this chicken, it was like $2 a pound. And I bought it from, I believe Costco. And then I just kind of cut it up myself and then I st stuck it in the freezer. So this lasts a really long time. Anytime I come into the kitchen, I look at, okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff I can eat here that's frozen. I defrost it and then I stick it on the pan 
so I'm not actually cooking it in a microwave or anything. It's only defrosting for the flavor. It's almost done over here. So I'm gonna get the green beans. I think I have actually too much green beans. I'll just eat it all. The liquid at the bottom, if you put it in here, it's all gonna get all over the steel cut oats and then it's gonna get all soggy. So what are you gonna do with the green bean stuff? I don't know, I'll just drink it, I guess. Tastes like green beans. Okay, again, I'm gonna wash this because I don't want stuff to be laying around. That's, you know, you gotta have a big pile of dishes at the end. So after you wash it, just kind of drain it a little bit and then I put it back onto the hot stove over here. It automatically dries your pot, which is a good thing. Then you don't have to dry it yourself. And now the chicken is done. It's a, gonna be a very, very peppery thing. Very peppery chicken. Now this is the chicken juice. I can just pour that over the vegetables. And also I'm gonna wash this too. You see, this is like a self-sustaining thing. Every time I come in here, I make sure that I return everything back to how it was before. I have some cheese. Okay, that's enough cheese. This is Manchego, by the way. My friend Tim, he introduced me to this when we were uh, backpacking and it tasted really, really good and we got some from Costco. Costco is a lot cheaper. It's like half the price of regular supermarkets where you only have a small wedge. Now, let me show you guys. Look at this, twice the size of this thing for uh, I think $14 or $15 or so because I ate some of it already. Let me show you guys what this looks like. And just like that, you got an organic chicken with manchego cheese sprinkled on top with green beans and a cage-free egg. Look at the yolk over here. It's like orangey, right? Normal eggs that you get, you know, the regular cheapy kind, it's kind of yellowish, not orange like this. You can taste it in the flavor too. Mm. And the main chego cheese. Let's give the chicken a try. Make sure that it's fully cooked through. Cooked through. So I would consider this very simple food. There's not even a name for this. I just kind of go, oh, I need some starch. I need some vegetables and I need some protein to kind of round it all out. Along with this, I might have one or two mandarin oranges, you know, kind of like a dessert because this is sweet after all there's gonna be added uh, fiber in this. With the vegetable, there's added fiber over here. I don't normally have the wine actually. I just kind of, you know, just felt like it today. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a like, comment down below. Let me know if you're gonna give this a try. This is just how I find a way to save time in preparing lunch because it gets old. You can't always spend like half an hour to one hour preparing a elaborate meal every single time. This is my go-to everyday food just with everything together, some kind of starch, some kind of vegetable, maybe it's green bean, maybe it's cauliflower, broccoli, maybe it's spinach, something, and some kind of protein. It might be fish, chicken, steak, it might be tofu even, and it can be just an egg by itself. Three different things, you know, the food groups just add it all up, and also, you know, some more fiber, vitamin C or whatnot at the end. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a like, comment down below. Let me know if you're gonna give this a try. Some, I would call this, I don't know, Francis Bowl, Beat the Bush Bowl. I don't know, whichever you wanna call it. And as always, don't forget to push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching.